Here we go. All right, everyone. Today is August 9th, um, 2011, and we're just going to quickly go over the uh, the things that we did this morning in the in the live trading room. Um, almost all of it was ES this morning. You know, the ES is the only market with with enough liquidity so that uh, so that you don't have to you don't have to worry about it bouncing just immediately to your stop or to your target um, as soon as you put a trade on, as soon as you put your bracket on. All right. Um, the trades that I took today were similar to the trades that I took yesterday. Um, here I'm going to put this back where it should be. Um, they were similar to the trades that I took yesterday. The trading style that I was using today was the same exact thing I was doing yesterday. Um, and it's something that we talked about in the partners meeting last week. I discussed a little bit in the live trading room this morning, and I'll go over it in the partners meeting this week in more detail. Um, yesterday and today, for that matter. Yesterday, I ended the day plus 62 ticks um, on the ES. Today, um, right now, I'm, um, uh, I'm up 44 ticks on the ES. And I was up more than that. I was up, I was up 60, I think, at one point. I had one losing trade on the YM this morning, so I'm down 7 ticks on the YM. Um, and I'll just go over the trades, okay? You can see right here, uh, we're plus 44 ticks on the ES right now. All right. Um, all the trades were taken from this chart right here. I I marked up some of them. I didn't I didn't mark them all up because it was just too active for me. All right. And I had actually stopped trading there at I don't know right around right around there. I I had stopped trading around 11 o'clock or so. Um, but the trade setups are basically the same exact thing that they were yesterday. Um, what I'm looking for here is a break of the elbow when when the uh, chop bands are suggesting it's the right time for the elbow to break. You get a break out of the chop bands, you get a break out of the elbow. So right in here was an opportunity to enter. After that, what I'm looking for is a pullback to the BBC. All right. So you can see we had several of those right here on the way up. Um, those were all good trades on the way up. There are trades in here that I didn't mark. Um, over here we didn't put in a higher swing pivot, so I didn't I didn't go for any more trades after that. All right, I did take this trade and I took profit. I think I took two points profit on that trade. Um, and then we moved over here, and this was the break of the elbow with the breakout of the bands. So that was a that was a great opportunity. I don't think I got into that one though. I think I was not looking at it or something. Same thing right here. Um, this was a losing trade for me over here. I went long right right here on the pullback to the elbow and uh, I mean on the pullback to the BBC and it stopped me out and it reversed. Um, over here we didn't get the breakout of the bands and it started to go sideways quite a bit. I missed a few trades in here but they weren't setting up exactly the way that I like them to set up. This one right here did so I took this one and I think I got three points out of that or two and three quarter. Um, over here was another one of those setups of the uh, break of the elbow, and this was a setup here um, on the pullback up to the BBC. Now, all that kind of came together the right way, but it was really slow and, and sort of choppy at that time compared to what the rest of the morning had been like. Um, you see it more of it right over here. Okay. Um, and that's that's pretty much it, guys. That's, you know, that was the morning, and you can see you can see how it just the patterns just keep repeating themselves over and over again um, over here we wouldn't have been looking to short over here but we would have been looking nope, not in there not in there right over here we would have been looking to short right there okay um, over here possibly getting long over here getting long um, over here definitely getting long even though it didn't work out perfectly I would have gotten a break even on that had I taken it um, nothing in here when it's inside the box. Right in here, this was a perfect opportunity. That's exactly what I described to you um, when the bands are breaking out and and the price is breaking out of the elbow. That's exactly what you want to see. Um, over here, had I been taking it, uh, this looks like it probably would have stopped me out because I was using a two a two point uh, two point risk on this, so it probably would have stopped me out. If it didn't. Um, you would have gotten two points profit on it or a break even if you moved your stop up after after you gained a couple of points. But when it started getting really choppy, well, comparably really choppy, it's all it's all relative, but when it started to get choppy, 
I had stopped trading because I was already up pretty good on the day, and, and it is FOMC day, so I didn't want to I didn't want to go crazy with it all. Um, I'm gonna just jump over to the Russell really quick, just to show you what the Russell looked like. This is a regular four tick range chart on the Russell. I didn't trade it at all today, not not even not even once. But the opportunity was there using what we normally do with the Russell. I didn't look at it either. I didn't look at my DOM at all. So, well, that's not exactly true. I looked at it once and there was a spread. Um, there was a, a gap of one uh, one tick, which means, um, let me bring it up and I'll show you what I mean, what I mean by that. Um, what I mean by that is like right now price is at, yeah, there's one right there. You could see price was at 677.3 and um, or the bid would be at 677, we'll say 677 even and the ask would be at 677.2 with the gap at 677.1. You see it's still doing that. There's just not enough liquidity in there for this kind of a market. That's why I wasn't uh, that's why I wasn't trading the Russell at all today or yesterday for that matter. Um, I'm just sticking with the ES because the ES has got plenty of liquidity and it doesn't put those little gaps in there. <clears throat> um, all right, I'm gonna back this off a little bit here, and I think I'm gonna wrap it up. On that note, I think I'm just gonna wrap it up here, guys. All right. Um,